Hello out there and welcome to part 10 of Mage Knight board game. We're still looking at the advanced actions. Up here in the play area you can see the advanced action deck in the upper left hand corner. That has cards 1 through 16 and of course you have 28 cards. So we're going to look at 17 through 28 this time. Also notice that I did not put out the advanced actions offer. We don't have any cards face up because in the first scenario we have enough to explain to new players without explaining what the three face-up cards are. So we're going to look at the first set here, cards 17 through 20. Of course we have a red card, a blue card, a white card, and a green card. If you're Narwhals and you're looking at this, you're going to have a tough time picking if these three cards come up in the advanced actions offer because he wants all three of these cards. Goldix probably wants steady tempo. First of all we have Into the Heat which is really good if you have a big army, like Narwhals probably has. Into the Heat says, play this card at the start of combat. All of your units get their attack and block values increased by two this combat. And the only catch to this is when you assign damage, you can't wound your units. They don't take any damage. But their attack and their block goes up by two if you play this card first. And if you charge it with red mana, all of their attack and block values are increased by three. So this is a very, very good card to have if you have a lot of units in your army and you're about to start a combat where your units are going to be helping out. So if you're in a dungeon or a tomb where your units are scared to go in, you're not going to worry about that, but it's good to have if you have a big army. Uh, next we have Steady Tempo. It's a movement card, so you can either move two or move four. At the start of your turn, instead of putting this card in the discard pile, you can put it on the bottom of your deed deck. So it'll go on the bottom of your uh, deed deck right there, and you can use it later on this round when you draw it. It'll be the last card you draw for the round. It's stronger effect to get move four, and you can actually put this card on top of your deed deck, so you draw it at the end of your turn, and you'd have this movement card for next turn. It's pretty good. Then you have Diplomacy. Diplomacy is an influence card, so you get influence two or influence four. The difference is with Diplomacy, you can use all your influence points as block this turn. That's really, really useful. In fact, with this one, you can choose Ice or Fire, and not only get the Influence 4, but all your influence counts as either Ice Block or Fire Block, depending on which one you choose. And like I said, when we get into combat, you'll see why you might want an Ice Block or a Fire Block. Finally, we have In Need, which is an influence card that gives Influence 3 or Influence 5. And for each wound card in your hand, or each wound card on a unit that you control, you get an additional influence one. If you charge this for its stronger effect, you get an additional influence two. So you get three influence, plus one for each wound in your hand or on a unit. Or you get five influence, plus two for each wound on a unit you control or in your hand. So those are four. Uh, next we have another red card Arithia wants. Into the Heat, by the way, is probably the only red card Arithia is not really crazy about. Oh, there's Goldix again. Okay, so we have Decompose, which lets you throw away an action card in your hand. So you take an action card, and you're not going to use it anymore. Let's take uh, Determination, for example. Let's pick this one out of her deck. Okay, so you play Decompose. You throw Determination away. Notice it's a blue card. And you get two blue crystals. At its stronger effect, when you play Decompose, you throw away an action card, say throw away Determination, and you would get a red, white, or green, and green crystals. You get all three colors except for this blue card. Crystal Mastery. Gain a crystal to your inventory of the same color as a crystal you already own. So if you already have a crystal in your inventory, you're going to get a duplicate copy of it by playing Crystal Mastery. If you charge this with blue mana, at the end of your turn, any crystals you have spent are returned to your inventory. Now, at the end of the game, not this scenario, the first reconnaissance, but at the end of a training or a city conquest, you're probably going to be using a lot of crystals on your turns because you're going to be charging as many cards as you can with whatever crystals you've acquired during the game. So this is really useful. Charge this with blue mana, and all those crystals go back, and you have them for later. Then you have Mana Storm. This is a card that Nor uh, uh, Tovok really likes. Choose a mana die in the source that's showing a basic color. Gain a crystal of that color to your inventory. 
Then immediately re-roll that die and return to the source. So you look at the source, you see one of the mana dice there, you get a crystal of that color, re-roll the die and put it back. Or you re-roll all the dice, you can choose three extra dice from the source. So you can use four dice that turn, and you can use dice showing black or gold as mana of any basic color regardless of the round. So gold or black mana dice would count as ma uh, any mana of a basic color, whether it's day or night. That's really, really useful. Finally, we have Ambush. It's a movement card. Move two or move four, of course. But the first block or car attack card you play, if the first card that's either block or attack happens to be block, you can add two to it. If, it, if the first card you play is attack, you can add one to it. You can't do that if you've already played a block card, but add two to your first block card or plus one to your first attack card. And then with move four, you get the same thing, but you can either add two to your first attack card or plus four to your first block card. Again, that's whichever card you play first. So if you play any card that gives you block, then you can't do the attack. But you can add four to the block, though, so that's good. And then our last four advanced actions. And again, I'm going to keep these set off to the side because you're not going to use these for the first reconnaissance. Aruthi has some really good looking friends, doesn't she? Look at that guy. I'm pretty sure that was a selfie. Okay, we have maximal effect. When you play this, throw away another action card in your hand, gain the basic effect of that card three times. So let's go back to determination. If you were to throw this away, you would get either six attack or six block but you wouldn't see this card again for the rest of the game. Really good way to thin your deck out, by the way. Uh, its stronger effects is when you play this, throw away another action card from your hand, use the stronger effect of that card two times, so you could throw Determination away, and you would get block 10. Magic Talent. Discard a card of any color. You can play a spell card from the spell offer that's the same color, but you don't get the spell, you just leave it up there. But you can play that spell if it's the same color as a card you discarded. Its stronger effect says when you play this, you pay a mana of any color, and you gain a spell card of that color and put it in your discard pile. So you wouldn't be able to use that spell this round, but you'd have it next round. You just have to pay a mana of that color. Learning is an influence card, influence two or influence four. And you can pay influence six to gain an advanced action from the advanced actions offer and put it in your discard pile, which means that you'd have it next round. Or, at Influence 4, you can pay Influence 9 to take an advanced action into your hand. You'd be able to take an advanced action from the offer for Influence 9 and be able to play it that very turn. Finally, Training. I love this card to get rid of uh, extra cards in your deck. Training. Throw away an action card from your hand. Then take a card of the same color from the advanced action offer and put it in your discard pile, which means you'll be able to use it next round. Its stronger effect is the same thing, but you'd be able to take that card and put it into your hand so you can use it that turn. So those are all 28 of the advanced actions. Again, you're only going to use 1 through 16 the first time, which is why I only have 1 through 16 shuffled up there. You're going to lay down the advanced actions offer, which means you put the top three cards face up right there at the beginning of the game. However, for the first game, we're going to wait till somebody reaches level 2 and levels up, and then we'll put out the advanced actions offer because there is just so much to explain already. We have our mana bank over here, we have our fame and reputation track, our day-night board, we have our player area right here, and now you know one of the four types of deed cards. You know all 28 advanced actions in the game. Join me next time for the next video, which will be part 11, where we look at spells. Until then, GLHF. Good luck, have fun.